Wow. So Fox News with Tucker Carlson is saying that um, journalists are slapping down free thought and independent thought. Now they're talking about xenophobia, which is the fear of other people and racism. And it is incredibly dangerous. It is yes, it is. And it is scary. And I just really want to call that out. Why do you keep calling this the Chinese virus? Why are you confusing this? Yeah, why do they keep calling it the Chinese virus? It's not racist? Because it originated in China. Why do you keep calling this the Chinese virus? Hilarious. It would be amusing to ask HR departments and network television why they exclusively hire morons with no self-awareness. Maybe they're cheaper. For whatever I know about morons that work for our government. They are called lawyers and judges and um, CSD workers that can't count and make assumptions and police officers that make assumptions. This is excerpts from a new 15-page intelligence assessment on China's role in the disaster. This assessment was written by officials from the so-called Five Eyes, the United States, Britain, Canada... I also have my own experience of some Chinese students that came over to the University of Oregon with lots of money. And when they graduated, they threw everything that they owned into the dumpster rather than recycling any of it. Some of it was brand new hoodies with tags on them. Not from bats, not from pangolins, whatever those are. No, instead... When you have lots and lots of money, you can come over to America and dump. As the Chinese Just dump everything into the dumpsters. As this assessment notes, the Wuhan Institute of Virology was performing extensive... Before you fly back to China with all the knowledge you gained. ...at the time of the outbreak. Here's the full timeline the document lays out. It's fascinating. We've known some of this, some we didn't know. Here it is. By early December, authorities in China knew that this disease could spread from person to person. That's a very important thing to know about a coronavirus. Coronaviruses live in animals. So people are dying over not wearing face masks. By definition, are dangerous to us. That's ridiculous, but it happens. Someone just was shot because they wouldn't let the daughter enter a store without a face mask. Despite the overwhelming evidence, the Chinese Communist Party claimed no. The virus could not be spread from person to person. And then at a China family dollar store, 43-year-old was shot at a family dollar store lie, which they did north of downtown Flint until January 20th. a short time after telling this China woman's daughter that she had to leave because she lacked a mask. So he lost China's his life over trying to Wuhan unknown follow Wuhan rules. SARS variation and Wuhan so now they're Wuhan facing this family. On January 2nd, a man, a woman, and her son, 23-year-old son, are facing first-degree premeditated murder and gun charges. Ordered them to destroy, not save, destroy any samples of the virus they had already collected. One day so later, whatever, people are crazy. They're batshit crazy. I, I think it's ridiculous, but everyone, each to their own. They banned research. Day by day, this cover-up became crazier. This is my mom's scarf she gave to me. She's dead now. I believe it will protect me. It has magical powers. On January 